If you're planning to start your business brand new online, what is the first step to do? Do you start creating content? Do you start creating an offer? Do you start talking to people? Well, this is the question that I'm going to be answering in today's Q&A video. So welcome, stay tuned because it is a really, really good one today. So today's question is really good and it says, I'm preparing to become a coach and I know this is something I want to do, but do I need to start creating content to build my audience before I do the registering process? Now, this is a good question. So uh, my advice if you are just initially starting out to build your business um, isn't, to, isn't to register your business or to create content. It's actually to do some research. That is my biggest thing. And it's just so boring, it's so mundane, and it's advice that people don't want to hear, but it is the thing that's going to save your bottom in terms of save your business from uh, failing. Because as you probably know, 95% of businesses fail within the first three years. So you wanna do your research. One of the things that I like to talk about when it comes to research is to really, really understand one, who is your ideal client? What pain points do they have? What stories are they telling themselves that's causing them to hold on to this pain point? What platforms do they hang out in? What sort of content do they already consume? Who is already holding their attention? So those are six questions just to get you started. The more research you do, the more you will become essentially clearer on the next step. Then the next step, after you've done a ton of research and you've answered all of those questions, is actually to begin to talk about your expertise, talk about how you help people. So create content about that. Now, I would do all of this before I even register the business. Do you know why? Can I tell you why? Come a little closer, right? The reason is, in the midst of the research, a lot of people actually quit on themselves. A lot of people actually choose not to run the business because they discover that, you know, perhaps this business isn't all I thought it would be, or perhaps this thing isn't actually going to give me the life that I desire, or perhaps I don't even have time for this business, or I'm not as passionate about this as I thought I was. So if you start by registering your business and doing all of that work first, you're going to shell out a bucket load of money and a bucket load of time for a business that you might not be entirely sold on. However, if you do it the other way around, do your research first, have that confidence, then you're able to move forward knowing that you are in this for the long haul. So I hope that has been helpful for you and thank you so much to the person who dropped this question. Um, go ahead and comment below your questions so that I can answer it in the next Q&A Friday. That would be awesome. And if you're new to this channel, make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel I publish three times a week. Turn on your bell so that you will be the first to uh, be notified when we publish. Before you head off, make sure you check out this playlist of other Q&A Friday videos where I answer questions from our viewers all over the internet, the internet streets. <laughs> anyway, see you in my next video, thank you.